Hello viewers, uh, today I am a contribution to this Active MQ uh, first session and uh, this session we are going to look uh, uh, the queue which is running uh, in the remote location. So we are going to consume the messages which is there in the Active MQ broker. So how do you consume? Uh, well, so in the, if you see the previous version which we discussed, uh, well JBoss EAP6 and EAP7 which uh, we already did this how to consume the messages uh, from the inbuilt queue which is exists inside the JBoss. Let's see JBoss 6 is having Hornet queue and the 7 version is having an active NQ. So these are inbuilt inside the JBoss, right? So we deployed this listener and uh, we created the queues inside the JBoss and we deployed the listener in JBoss and uh, that is consume the messages. And we see this in the standalone mode and the cluster mode as well. So the now this is not the requirement. Now the requirement is something else. This broker is running in remote location like this. Q is running on somewhere else. So now look at this. So in this scenario, so we have a JBoss 6 version, 6.4 version. So that is having a Hornet queue inbuilt. Well, so we already did that. So create the queue and deploy the listener and consume the messages. But we are not going to use this Hornet queue now. So we are going to use a Active MQ broker here, Active MQ server, which is running on somewhere else. So in this case, it is running on 102 IP address. Uh, 192.168.56.102 on 616.16 is the broker URL. This is we already seen this uh, in the previous session to create the broker and uh, um, how to connect to that. Uh, just we are not connected yet. Just we created the queues and we open the admin console and we see this and we send the messages into it. And uh, that's it. And now, uh, well, why I choose the 6.4 here is uh, 6.4 is not having the active queue. It's having a Hornet queue. So we will integrate into this just 6.4 uh, you know, active MQ and then we will deploy a listener in J that JBoss and this listener is connected to the remote active MQ server broker and then it will try to consume the messages from that remote view. So that's what uh, today's session. Well, uh, you well you can do this uh, similar uh, you know, with the uh, JBoss 7.x version 2 that and 7.2 is having active MQ in there. So you no need to integrate that. So that's uh, the difference between uh, uh, this uh, uh, remote uh, consuming uh, messages, you know, uh, well, 6.4 and 7 version. So we will see that uh, what else uh, uh, not to do in 7.x uh, version. Well, 6.4, we need to integrate this resource adapter. We need to download this active MQ. And uh, in 7 version, we don't need to do that step. And remaining everything is the same to same. So we will see that, uh, well, so first we will see with the uh, JBoss, uh, well, I'm in one of the machine, so as in the diagram I shown, this is running in 101. So the first this is JBoss, and then will the active MQ is 102 IP address. So we will see how to do that. Uh, well, first go to the active MQ. So, <coughs> so in the previous version we already uh, done this broker creation. So again we need to do that. So I just no, I'm trying to make this broker ready. Then we will go with the JBoss, and we will see the integration. And we send a message, and we will try to consume the message. So this is my broker. Uh, so I'm trying to. This is the uh, software bundle. Now I'm trying to create a broker with this bundle. Atmes create. I'm trying to create under OPT broker one. So this username and password is very much important. So I will give you JBoss AMQ. JBoss AMQ. This authentication details are required to send a message, which we already seen it. So anonymous user is yes, that's it. So I'm going to this. <coughs> uh, well, the broker is created. So the broker one here, uh, etc is the one. So here uh, we need to modify uh, the broker.xml file. Let me create a one uh, ready queue immediately. So this is the queue where we are going to send a message into that. So this is we already a uh, scene session previously, but uh, <coughs> again we need to make it ready things. So here I am trying to create. This is my queue name, hello world queue. This is the queue which is created just like that, and then uh, well the broker again remains same. This is listening on six one six one six. Here it is. So I'm not going to change any of this uh, uh, no, acceptor. So in JBoss, uh, we have to configure this in JBoss to connect to this broker. This is remember. And then, uh, so 
so well i try to comment this well i want to see the message when i sent in the, from the admin console of the broker that's it there is no changes over here that's it so i'm trying to start my broker to mess it up well uh, i need to open the ports so well i need to open both ports well admin console to view the messages and the uh, broker 61616 to have to open out of the box because uh, my jboss is trying to connect to this broker so well let me open the both both the first one is 6166 and then uh, this is admin console port okay so and right 8161 8161 okay that's it so the broker is up and running no changes in the broker where uh, just we created uh, uh, one queue that is a uh, hello world queue is the one which you created and then we just uh, enable this admin console of the box i think we need to open again configuration changes uh, well this is listening on the local host the broker so so boost tab the properties xml i need to change here this because i want to open this uh, in the browser and that's it that's it now this is the queue and we will uh, going to open this admin console and we will see what is this uh, uh, what are the messages how many messages the queue is created and uh, what are the messages exist in there and this is the started successfully 8161 the username and password which we created so that we need to use this and the same username and password i need to use when you connect from the jboss so well this is the queues uh, this is the queue hello world queue and right now uh, there is no messages and there is no consumers means nobody is connected to this queue to consume the messages and there is no messages well well if i uh, okay i'm not going to send right now the messages uh, so well let me try for that so if we try this publish and i'm trying to publish the single message into that so once this is completed just refresh this you see there is a single message is inserted into this queue well that message uh, the uh, publisher is very simple stuff and um, so i need to point out uh, the destination ip and this is the connector port the active key broker is using and this is the one the while creating the broker the username and password uh, well in the, queue, in the code i need to specify that uh, this is the queue which we created in the a uh, queue i mean in the broker so this is a simple code well this code is just trying to execute from the cli it is sent a message into that uh, so that's a message one message is in the broker is exists that's all done so this is our previous session which we already seen it don't know what else now so this message i want to consume it and uh, so that for the case i am trying to use the jboss 6 version well why i choose the 6 version the 6 version doesn't have a, a, this is having a hornet queue doesn't have a, a active key broker well if you use the 7 version that is already have a, a, a hornet queue broker a hornet queue uh, in build so so that's why i choose the 6.4 now we will integrate that and uh, we will uh, deploy the listener to connect to this broker uh, well uh, i'm into this jboss uh, i do not have jboss here okay. six point four version i'm trying to unzip the six point four version here this is one more mission well other mission is broker is already up and running here the broker size there is no changes so six point four let me move into other location so i am into jboss 6.4 stand alone configuration so where uh, before starting the jboss make sure you need to choose a full or full ha so this is having a queue actually right so we need to choose any one of this profile so we are not going to go with the cluster right now just a simple a uh, full profile go with so go with adapters so adapter see that hornet queue is by default so this resource adapters uh sub system if you go with uh, in the 7 portion this is already with uh, active 
so that's why we're not going with the seven version so this step you no need to do with you know in a, of course uh, you need to do with the seven version but you no need to deploy the resource adapter the first step here uh, we need to do uh, configuration changes of subsystem right, that's it so inside this now i need to uh, locate my resource adapter here resource resource adapter you need to download from the google let's uh, you know make it uh, download uh, actual queue resource adapter well you can download from the repository okay so you can download from here or mobile or anywhere so i'm trying to uh, download 5. Uh, uh, 15. 10 i guess i have in my currently local so jboss one so there, there it is so this is the one i have a uh, active mq wrap this is the uh, 5.10 version that I, from the mobile i just downloaded it uh, I, I renamed it uh, active mq ra dot rwrap so this is the one where this is i'm going to place it uh, inside my jboss 6.4 standalone and the deployment that's it so this is deployed inside the jboss standalone deployments done so this is the deployed so i'm not yet started my server just i need to place this uh, resource adapter of the active mq uh, five dot uh, whatever version you know, you know five dot. this is the latest version you download it and rename it or it's, this rename is not mandatory of course so just i rename like this or dot one and i deploy it in jboss the first step and the second step uh, well uh, resource adapter subsystem you have to become and this is by default is hornet queue okay so this uh, deployment uh, we no need to do it in a seven version because seven versions already exist in build you no need to download and deploy that's the difference between 6.x version 7. Uh, jboss version and the seven version or if that again remainings uh, from here you need to follow the same steps in seven including uh, well i have a piece of code here i will try to copy this resource adapter uh, oh, this is what uh, specify exactly this is the my uh, resource adapter which i deployed uh, in the jboss deployments folder well seven version known to deploy but we need to specify because it's already exist and the url uh, this is the my broker where it is running on 102 ip address and the simple tcp make sure my broker is a single here so well we will see the next coming versions with uh, cluster brokers and the active passive versions that's a different case well the simple protocol and the my broker ip and the port 61616 and the username and password uh, this is one which we created while creating the broker the user and password so jboss amq and jboss amq is a one two three so this is help to authenticate you know connect uh, to the broker exactly so well that's it there is no changes and uh, there is resource okay there is one more change here the resource adapter if you see here the line number around the, the same configuration file so by default it is appointed to hornet queue okay so make sure this could be a uh, this name you need to make it out so, so we need to replace the hornet queue with that this so so i need to or else you can take the copy let me keep this remain same i don't want to modify this so let's take one more copy and uh, here i will replace this our active mq adapter name. that's it I will save this. There is no changes in the JBoss, so the, this, this changes uh, remains. You need to do it in the uh, seven version of the JBoss. So, but only the difference is in order to deploy the adapter. That's all. So, let me start my JBoss. Standalone, and I'm going to start with standalone. The full dot XML file. This is the where we done the changes uh, currently, and. Uh, uh, this is not matter right now because uh, we are not going to open any admin console of the jboss or nothing so well uh, that's it we deployed uh, adapter and we done the configuration changes of adapter where it is running ip and port and the username and password that's all well what next my jboss is also integrated with this active mq and now uh, well the queue is already broker is already started the next uh, uh, thing is make sure we need to uh, deploy the piece of code mdb listener so that's what the in the diagram which is specified i need to deploy the listener and make sure that listener is exactly listening to the queue which is created in the active mq broker uh, 
you see this uh, we already seen this is in uh, previous versions uh, well this is my uh, queue which is created in the broker and uh, now this is one actium queue uh, activation config property this is directly appointed when you deploy in the jboss this is my listener and this is directly uh, going to deploy in the jboss and this is uh, where because here we need to specify resource adapter uh, actium queue rod which is deployed already in the jboss so well if you see here uh, in the jboss logs probably it is already a deployed so we already placed it so well done uh, well now i have a code is ready this code i am going to deploy in this jboss done then that is going to uh, consume the message which is already exist in the jboss uh, resource adapter this one message already exists now if i deploy the piece of code in the jboss then this message will going to consume it uh, well this message i am just trying to make this export as a var file and this var file is already i guess is ready in this <coughs> So this is exist in my local, which is already. Uh, let me copy into this MDB listener. Uh, and uh, I'm going to copy into my JBoss. This is running in 101, and the address is exactly OPT JBoss 6.4 standalone deployments. This is the address where currently Actium2 adapter is deployed, and I'm going to deploy my uh, listener. So okay. That's it. Deploy it. I think it is trying to deploy and it is just a deployed. Once it is deployed, it is connected, established with my broker exactly, which is running in 102, 61616, and uh, successfully connected and it is deployed and it is received my message. So that's all. So, this is the message I sent. So, let's one more uh, message if you see uh, the broker the message is called uh, disappear which is consumed already and the consumer is right now is the one so one is trying to connect it to this broker queue uh, that's what we deployed okay so if you deploy uh, one more some somewhere else then it will show you one more count is a consumer count so here is a one con consumer is deployed and the right now we, we consume the message let's deploy uh, one more uh, message into that this is the second message if you send just like that it will going to consume it see that immediately the message is received from the queue uh, well immediately it will disappear from here you cannot see anything so it is consumed already the message so one consumer so that sort the uh, session for this uh, well we integrated 6.4 with the active mq adapter successfully and we consume the message remotely so when well the same uh, scenario you know need to you know if we continue the you know jboss 7 version well we need to deploy the adapter that case uh, well, the configuration remains same. So that's all uh, on this session. Uh, well, uh, the same uh, continuation session will be uh, cluster uh, active MQ uh, broker. So we'll we seen this is the only single adapter, uh, single uh, broker is running on it. Uh, well, we can do the message. Well, we have a, a five or six uh, uh, brokers running with the queue, same queue, and the broker is a clustered with a standalone or it's uh, active and the passive mode. So that moment, how to consume the message from the uh, from the JBoss or whatever I'm deploying this and the message coming right. So how to consume at that case? So we will see that in the next session, and uh, we will make the same scenario uh, end to end with uh, IBM Q. Okay, so then that will make a, a sense. So that's all uh, for this session. So I'm trying to stop it. So thanks for watching this video. We will meet with another session. Thank you.